I never really pictured this as part of the artist's life, as far as all the technical stuff. What I do with resin and paper is much more complicated than painting ever was. All the gear that I need and the shop and the, the big, my booth, my chamber, all that stuff, it's like way more complicated, you know, and tons of extra work. I mean, I, the, the fun part of what I do, which is the collage part, is maybe 25% of the stuff that I have to do to produce these things. When people look at my work, they never know what it is. The first question that people ask is, what is it? And the second question is, how do you make it? You know, so because so many people ask me about that, I think my work is very process oriented. And what, how I describe it is, I think it looks a little bit like mosaic or stained glass. I, I'm using fragmented paper from a photographic source. So it ends up looking like an aerial topography sometimes. I think a lot about body systems like cells and uh, and things like even like cancers, like these tiny systems that you, we see like close-up photography of now. Um, and then I think of stars and things that are far away that we can't see with our naked eye. There she goes. What I'm working on right now is this piece that's about a little less than halfway, and I, I build it in layers. So right now we're at like the third layer. I'll probably do about 10 layers total. And so um, I'll work either with single pieces of um, magazine paper, or I'll work with multiple. So I have you know a whole bunch of one thing. I'm pretty interested in this lady's lips at the moment. So I'm gonna I'm gonna cut these out and see if I can find a good place to put them. I start off with a basic frame and a mold to hold in the resin, and then I start by building up a layer uh, of paper, of collage materials, and then a layer of resin, and a layer of paper, and a layer of resin, on and on, um, until they get too heavy for me to lift, and then they're done. <laughs> When someone walks into a room and they, they initially see my work, it's, it's glossy and attractive. So a lot of times people want to come in for a closer look. So they will walk up to it thinking that it's abstract, you know, just like an arrangement of color and shapes. But when they get up close, they realize, that's a little eye, or that's a little face, or it's a hand, or, you know, and then they also are, you know, mesmerized by the depth that appears, because you can't necessarily see that from a distance, but once you get up close, you realize that there's multiple layers of the paper and the resin and the paper and the resin. what I call the chamber, and I do all my wet work down here. The resin comes in a two-part formula. I mix them together, pour it on to my little pieces here. When I was in grad school, I was getting some critiques about my painting, and it was sort of like it, it was technically good, but not it wasn't saying anything fresh. And that's what I was personally feeling, you know, and so I was a little bit frustrated. So I started to cut up stuff that I had around the studio and, and glue it down. And then eventually one of the sculpture students that was one of my grad student peers was using this resin. So I started to pour the resin over the collage and it, it made some wonderful effects. So that's how I got started. I use a heat gun um, to get out all the bubbles that'll cause the bubbles to rise to the surface. Um, and, then, uh, and then it sits here and after a couple hours, it's, it's hardened up. When I think 
about the future with this work, I feel like I have so many ideas and so many things I write down. I don't feel like I'll ever get to the end of that. One of the greatest compliments that I can get is when somebody who is, you know, artistic or, you know, dabbles, it get, looks at my work and, and says, oh, I, it just makes me want to get in the studio. I want to make more work. So it's like there's a contagion, like an excitement, you know, in the art. That's a great compliment. I like that a lot.